Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at the sidelines that White may play against the Rogozin. So we're going to go to the starting position of the Queen's Gambit Rogozin after Bishop B4, and now check what else White has available. We already have looked at the capture in a dedicated chapter at the check and also at bishop g5. And in this chapter, we will basically deal with the rest. Um, there are actually many possible transpositions from this position into Nimzu Indian lines, lines that we deal with from a Nimzu Indian starting move order. Besides those, most things are rather harmless. There's only one particular line that is queen to b3 that is of, um, yeah, um, of a particular theoretical interest, but we have to check the other moves. So um, let's have a look at some that will, <clears throat> sorry, just transpose. Um, the move g3 will transpose. We just castle and reach a position that we can get from various move orders, from a Catalan with bishop b4, check knight c3, or from the Nimzo Indian with 4g3. So this is not dealt with in this video and this chapter. Not very frequently seen move anyway. Um, a move that looks fairly normal, but is also unusual in this particular situation, is queen c2. Queen c2 is quite often seen as a response to bishop b4, but here we have an immediate counterplay in the center with c5. And um, now it's not quite clear what white's... Um, yeah, what white is supposed to do that makes any sense. White certainly doesn't want to take on, on d5. That looks completely harmless. But what is he supposed to do? If he plays e3, that looks like a weird hybrid of a e3 Nimzo, a Rubinstein Nimzo, or an, and a classical Nimzo. So that is also not very dangerous. We can look at those two moves just to show. So here we will simply recapture and have a very active position. Um, one line that is possible is bishop g5, takes, takes, knight c6, and we, we are rapidly developing. It's not even that easily uh, imaginable how white is not um, going to take on c6 now. And e3 is also a very meek move. So something like this is very, um, yeah, very easy to play. We have active pieces. We have a half open b file, no problem at all. Um, white may also play e3, which is, as mentioned, a bit of a an odd hybrid of Nimzo Indian type play. The queen is on c3. This was a free preview of our anti 1d4 course based on the Nimzo Indian and Rogozin, available on chessable.com. Thanks for watching and see you soon.